Hi guys, Stan from Kiln Tech again. Today we're going to look at how to operate the L200M control. Okay, on the front of the control box, you'll see you have your main power switch and then your four switches for the unit. Each one is labeled for what it does. They're labeled off and auto. That means that even though your control may show something is on, the signal from the control goes down to the switch and then out to the unit. So when you turn that switch off, it's off. When you have it turned to auto, now the control will turn it on and off as it deems fit. Okay, now on the display here right now, I don't have this control box hooked up, so the readings are going to be off a little bit. But up in the top corner here, you'll see you have your vent, your heater, compressor, humidification. Each one has a spot showing here to tell you if it's on or off. A dash line is off, a zero is on. And right now it shows the vent is off, the heater is on, the compressor is off, and the humidification is on. You have your dry bulb temperature, your wet bulb temperature, your four probe readings, and then the average of all four. And of course it marked down here to tell you what they are. To do your settings, you push the select button. The first thing it'll give you is your probes. One, two, and you can change them on or off by hitting a button. If you turn all of the probes off, it will automatically turn on probe one because the unit is set that it must have at least one probe operating. Now you set your dry bulb temperature again with the up and down arrows, wet bulb with the up and down arrows. Final moisture, where you want to stop the drying. When the probes reach your desired set point, they will turn off the heat and turn off the compressor and the unit will show end of cycle on the screen and wait for you to return. Then you have your wood group. For this, you will go to your manual and check the wood species list. The list will tell you, you'll find your species on the list. It'll tell you what wood group to program the control for. That's it. You're all set. Okay, not hard to do. And then for your kiln schedule, that is in a different part of the manual. For your wood groups, you'll find your species. That will correspond with the dry kiln schedules and tell you what your temperature settings will be. You will look at the moisture content of your wood. That will tell you where you start on the drying cycle and set your temperatures accordingly. As the wood dries, you will change your settings to match each species, um, each wood group's settings for that range of moisture content till you get to your final moisture where it'll go till the end. And that's about all you need to do to run the L200M control. So as you see guys, it's not difficult to run. Just use your manual, go back and forth. And if you have any questions, call us at Nile. We'll be glad to help you. In the meantime, if you have any questions, comments, email me at the address below. And have yourself a great day.